little journey with me, Robo. Take your Port Adelaide t-shirt. They, they sent over one of these yeah, t-shirts. Yeah, that's for you. I'm going to take it. Uh, Close to your heart. Uh, close your oh, eyes. Oh, sorry, I'm just reading it, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, you want to really know what I was thinking then? No, I was thinking. No, I really don't. What I want you to do <laughs> is, is close your eyes here with your Port Adelaide. Do I literally have to do it? Yep. We're going into the inner sanctum with oh, Ken Hinckley. Listen. So right. he, into the room he went, he called his leadership group in as the last address beforehand. He oh, tucked the away. microphone in his pocket, yep. told no one, recorded it. Did he really? Went to the leadership group today and asked them if Must they were Ken. comfortable with this being aired publicly. They've agreed. So this is it. This is the rev up, Robbo, before the leadership group goes out for the first showdown at the Adelaide Oval. Sean, can you just round up the, um, <coughs> the leaders in here with me? Yeah. <coughs> now, I don't want to mess this up for today, but um, I think it's important that we understand in this room that we really do have um, responsibility of what happens today. You know, it's a, in leadership it becomes a responsibility. So what are you going to do? How are we going to act and what are we going to look like when we get out there on the ground? You blokes. So what are you going to look like out there, Trav? Where are you going to look as a captain if the heat comes after you straight away at the first bit? <clears throat> Let's be honest, this is a big game. We're big enough in here to handle that heat. You know, it's, it's first game here, it's showdown, it's all that goes on, it, it feels like, and it feels like a final. That's what it's felt like for me, so I'm not going to hide from the fact that you blokes have actually got to go out there and perform. But I reckon the important part about that is what I've got there, as Tommy says, in use. Use as a group, I trust you. You know, and that's why in the last game at halftime, I, I asked you for something, you delivered it. Well, I'm asking you today to be really calm. As calm as you can possibly be. <clears throat> and not get selfish for one second. And selfish can sometimes look a bit different than than just tackling or hitting or punching or giving away a 50. Selfish can sometimes just not give a first option because you feel like you need to make something happen. What we need you to do is be the most selfless boys in the team today and get it done. That's what I need from you. I, I, I really feel helpless in the box from almost now onwards. I think I've got some, some help going on, but really I'm helpless. Unless, unless you as a group are getting it done for me, I'm probably useless, all right? So you've got a big job, I reckon, and, and you shouldn't shy away from it. Every one of you should welcome the opportunity, and I reckon you need to lean on each other. If you can see one of you is having a bit of a dirty time or it's not quite working for you, just help get each other up. Talk to each other a little bit different to the group. You are here to help and support each other because you have a responsibility to 14 other blokes. And when you go out there, you have a responsibility to probably 55,000 people, which is a big bit of pressure to carry but I'm sure you can do it, all right? So again, Tommy, in news, I do trust, and I'm sure you'll come in tonight with what you deserve, all right? Go get them. Well, you would go and get them too, wouldn't you? You know what that tells me? That tells me that every single person who's played, AFL, played football, not AFL, football, you've heard similar speeches, similar words. Can I just talk about responsibility? You know, this is a big game, heat, showdown, final, trust, deliver. Don't be selfish. Take the responsibility. It's a big job. Lean on each other. Those words are the very reason why we're sitting here doing this job, why, why football has created so many wonderful things. For Port Adelaide to give us that access, and thanks a lot to Ken Inkley and, and the players, and for us to be able to give to show people out there who are sitting at home and watch the games on the weekend and they get caught up in all the technicalities of football and all these instructions and do this and do that. Football remains a game from the heart and a game from the soul. It's about helping each other and, and to listen to that. I mean, that was just great. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, that might be that. I, to me, that might have been the best two minutes of football we've had on mm -hmm. AFL 360. Get it done. I'm sure you will. I love that last line, I'm yeah. sure you will.